Netflix just announced Tiger King is back. Season two will premiere sometime this year. It's the true crime documentary about the life of the Oklahoma zookeeper Joe Exotic. People who were crucial in putting the Tiger King behind bars for 22 years are now changing their tune. Like Jeff Lowe, the person who helped the feds gather evidence against Joe Exotic. We told you in July, Joe is getting a new sentencing hearing for his murder for hire case. Fox 23 investigative reporter Jana Clark has been talking to Joe by mail since last year. Jana, you finally got to actually hear from Joe from prison. Yes, I did. I asked Joe Exotic some questions through his publicist. You'll hear Joe in his own words. He doesn't think his sentence should just be lowered. He thinks he should go free. It's not every day that a zookeeper went to prison for murder for hire. The man known as Joe Exotic from Tiger King, Joseph Maldonado Passage, owned a zoo in Winniewood, Oklahoma. He was convicted of wildlife offenses and for hiring someone to kill Carol Baskin. She runs a big cat sanctuary in Florida. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Now Joe will get a new sentence. But first, his attorney, John Phillips, has asked for a new judge. We just feel like he's... He's contaminated. He's heard too much. John says the same judge, Scott Polk, has been on the bench for both Joe's civil and criminal cases. Is it odd that a judge would oversee both a criminal and a civil case? You see it in some small towns, right? This isn't that, right? This is Oklahoma City. There's so many different options. When I asked him about the judge, Joe had this to say from prison. I don't think uh, a, a sentencing with Judge Polk could ever be uh, a fair. Could it be thrown out altogether? That would be the honest thing to do, is, is to completely throw this out and overturn my conviction. John wants a different judge to look at new evidence evidence he's uncovered. John says Jeff Lowe came to his office and made revealing statements in an affidavit that he signed. It's now filed in court. You'll remember Jeff Lowe from Tiger King. John says Jeff befriended Joe, worked with him at the zoo, then helped federal agents gather evidence against Joe. Did Jeff Lowe take back a lot of the things that he had said that put Joe behind bars? Jeff definitely unquestionably sees things differently because he had an incentive for Joe to go to prison. And now he's understanding that he participated in conspiracies, how we're going to argue it, and he benefited from it. What was his incentive? To get the part, to get rid of Joe. The prosecution said Joe gave staffer Alan Glover $3,000 to go to Florida and kill Carol. John Rinky, Joe's right-hand man at the zoo, told me this. Me and Joe had a conversation about paying Alan some money to get him off the park just because we weren't happy with him there. He wasn't happy there and we want him off the park because he was causing problems. And uh, we discussed all that. And it was a $3,000 dollar amount that we talked about. So he wasn't paid to go kill Carol uh, like they said he was. In the affidavit, Jeff Lowe wrote, Ellen Glover did not tell me he left the park to go take out Baskin. The conversation between myself and Alan Glover regarding the murder for hire of Carol Baskin includes text messages that were created by me and staged. I knew I was being recorded and statements made by me regarding Alan Glover being paid $3,000 to go to Tampa to kill Carol Baskin were not true. Alan Glover never went to Florida. From talking with Jeff, it's pretty clear that Jeff sees this as an entrapment situation now, not a murder for hire. In the affidavit, Jeff said, the wildlife agent orchestrated the questions I should ask and told me exactly what I needed to get Joe and Alan to say in order to complete the alleged murder for hire. We have the recordings that show federal agents kind of leading him down a path, and he, he had all the incentive in the world to go down that path. He wanted the park. He wanted Joe gone. He is now seeing that the federal government is going after him. And so he's kind of put his own two and two together to understand that this was never about just getting Joe and leaving him alone. There's been all this talk about Jeff Lowe getting immunity. Did the feds give Jeff Lowe some kind of immunity? Nobody really got traditional immunity. Jeff Lowe hasn't been charged with anything yet. 
correct? He hasn't. Joe told me it wasn't right that he faced charges for both the murder for hire and for shooting the Tigers in the same trial. Jeff said the wildlife agent told him the wildlife charges were stacked on top of the murder for hire charge so we could get some jurors' heartstrings bleeding on shooting those cats and showing pictures of the tiger dig and all that. And they might be prejudicial where we are weak on the murder for hire. Jeff did not testify at Joe's trial. Neither did Rinky. I ran the place for 14 years. You'd think they'd want to talk to the guy that ran the place. But Alan Glover, the alleged hired hitman, did testify. But Alan Glover has admitted on camera that he perjured himself at trial. That's a big deal. Here's video John gave us of one of the attorneys reading statements Alan made, and you can hear Alan confirm it. I committed perjury during my trial testimony regarding my involvement as the hitman in the murder for hire. You got Jeff Flo, you got Alan Glover, you got all them guys that knew they were wrong in what they did coming forward now and admitting that it was a setup. I asked the U.S. Attorney's Office for an interview about this. They emailed, we would decline to comment at this time as this is a pending case. In this letter Joe sent me last year, he wrote, I can prove my innocence and signed it, Joe Exotic. Everything that I set on that stand and poured my heart out to the jury, I was made out to be a liar. The witnesses and the statements that are still going to be released is going to shock the world. What do you think will end up happening with Joe? I truly believe he's going to get out. The man needs to get out of jail. What do I want the public to know? I'm innocent. I, that's what I want the public to know. We did reach out to Jeff Lowe, but he does not want to talk about this right now. We have not been able to get a hold of Alan Glover. No date has been set for the new sentencing hearing. I will keep checking on that, and I will keep in touch with Joe. Covering news that matters, Jana Clark, Fox 23 News.